Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. Hi. And our energy mantra for today is, who I am is my divine responsibility. And oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are wrapping up Aries over the next few days. It's just kind of stunning and shocking to me. <laughs> um... How, where did this time go? So slowly and yet so fast, like I said the other day. This astro is very interesting to me. So we're coming off a day where there was a lot of Pluto connections between the moon um, running over Pluto and the sun squaring Pluto. And today we have the sun square Jupiter energy. So we move from that square with Pluto to this Jupiter square. And I feel like that Pluto energy, sometimes it can bring us like feel very heavy and bring us very much down into the darkness. And even though this is a square, with Jupiter, I want to share my response or my responsibility. I guess that is um, my one of my mantras. I've said this many times when things get hard or when it feels like really heavy. Keep like a little buoy or a balloon or a little life raft. It is. I believe in good things. I believe in good things. I believe in good things. So if you're feeling the heaviness, because there is much of it in the world <laughs> with all of this stuff that's going on. I invite you to remember that as we go through this square. Now, this square kind of brings up something that I've been saying over and over and over again. Um, none of us know the whole situation of what's going on. Sorry, my curtain's blowing open from the wind right there. <laughs> none of us know the entirety of what is going on. And we have this desire to know, Jupiter and Capricorn, desire to know <clears throat> because that makes me feel, or me feel, I guess it's a me thing, <laughs> we feel, <laughs> us feel, that we have some semblance of control. And <laughs> and we really don't. <laughs> the king and the queen of swords right there. Um, we really, really don't. What we have control of is how we show up and take action in our lives based on what is important and what is true for us, based on higher self-intel. And that's what we really want to tune into with the Sun-Jupiter square. Jupiter in Capricorn, direct line to your higher self, direct line to your helpers and guides to help that Sun energy manifest, act. So, Tune into that rather than thinking, again, that you have to know it all or that you should be doing more than you're doing. This is a call to tune in. And I think it's hard for Aries because Aries is like, oh my gosh, just give me something to do already. What am I supposed to be doing? Well, chances are what you're doing is exactly what you're meant to be doing. But open up that channel. Tune into your higher self uh, in order to support that work. And I do want to remind you that this is building a new world and much like building a baby, it takes a really long time. So please allow this process, you know, to take the time that it needs and for you to just keep showing up as you are being called to show up in and through all of this. Um, that being said, we have the moon in Aquarius. So the moon is shifting into Aquarius 12.37 a.m. Pacific time. So actually just a few hours from this transmission. <laughs> um, <clears throat> moon in Aquarius. So our yin consciousness moves into the realm of vibrations. Um, moon in Aquarius energy feelings for the community, you know, like so many people are having so many various feelings, reactions, um, situations come up through what we're all moving through at this time. So holding space for everyone's unique experience, expression, um, and understanding of what's happening based on what's what's real to them, what's vibrationally real to them. But <clears throat> meanwhile, 
working on shifting your own personal vibrational nature in and through this. Mahalo says so. <laughs> um, I have these two cards. Finding that inner harmony, matching the head with the the head with the heart. And I think we really need to look at that with, you know, so many conspiracy theories and everything floating around. I don't even want to call them conspiracy theories, just so many theories of what's really going on. Keep finding that that rhythm between your heart and your mind and keep finding the good in all of this because there is good in this that is happening and we do keep needing to tune into that. There's always going to be <clears throat> the challenges and there's always the good and it's good to find, you know, the balance between them rather than just focusing on just one side of those things. So moon in Aquarius, the first stop is with Saturn, Saturn hanging out in Aquarius. Has it moved to one degree? Hold on. Let me, I have my little thing up, but I can't see it. It has, it is that, that one degree energy. So with that one degree energy, one of the things I say, the one degree energy is like where we, we lead with our heart. Um, so tuning into that heartfelt vibration and the moon is bringing in the emotional energy with that. Now with this, you also may find a spike in <laughs> technology issues. I've been having so many of those. Um, and uh, vibrational energies, uh, grounding needed in and through with this. But your responsibility is allowing your feelings, but also tuning into the vibrations that you would like to tune into with this energy. Peanut gallery going on back there. <laughs> um, moon continues on through the day, makes a square with Uranus. The Uranus and Taurus stuff. You know, I feel like that's a big part of so much of the change that we're going through. Um, moon in Aquarius, square Uranus. Just trying to feel through what I feel with that. Lending your vibrations to support the changes that are being made in the earth while not completely submitting or suppressing those things that are triggering you within this. Again, it's like we want to see the multiple sides of the situation and really work with them. So notice that which is triggering you, that what's triggering feelings in you with all of this, especially about the community, because that may be a call, a call to action, so to speak. Um, moon continuing on, connecting to Venus, connecting to Mars, Venus and Mars, building into a trine, working together, Venus hanging out in Gemini, Mars in Aquarius, uh, this is some of the energy where it's like, oh my gosh, I just want to go connect with my community. What I would recommend with these energies, especially as the moon is also connecting with Mercury, make the connections with your community. Make a plan. Jump on a Zoom. <laughs> um, create a Zoom or whatever the platform is. Reach out to those who you feel connected to because they will also help shift and open up in ways that we need to open up in and through this. I want to go back to this. Don't get too stuck in the shoulds. Don't get too stuck in your mind. Don't get too stuck in the knowing because you're trying to control the things. That is going to lead you feeling trapped. What we really need to do is that grounding in. So take, take this mind heart and take it a step further and ground that energy in uh, to help support yourself uh, through <laughs> through however much longer this is going to be moving on for. So that is it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you, and you do have the power. Namaste.